good morning everyone and welcome to day two of the exercise challenge so um yeah <laughs> i did part of the fit test last night um i got five of the exercises done there's eight total and um my body was definitely done at that point and i didn't even do a very good job on the last couple because they were very i don't know maybe i'm not very coordinated i'm not really sure but it was awful so anyways um this morning Walking downstairs is fine. Walking back up the stairs, my legs are definitely feeling it from not doing very much, which is not a big surprise because I am very not athletic in the slightest. So we're gonna see if we can fix that this month. <laughs> but needless to say, um, I am not exercising this morning. I will wait till I come home from work and I will probably do something that's fairly easy. Like, I'm not sure if I'll have the energy to go swimming with my kids or not. That would be something that would be good. And if not, then I'll probably ride the bicycle for like 45 minutes to an hour or something like that, watch a movie or something. So what I'm doing right now is putting together a lasagna. And this is actually more of a onion cream lasagna. So if you remember my last challenge, I made towards the end of the challenge, I made something called creamy or creamed kale, creamed kale over wild rice or creamy kale over wild rice. I don't remember what it was called. But anyway, so I made the sauce that goes on top of the, the vegetable dish that you made that goes over the rice. Um, the sauce is super oniony. Like I would totally call it creamy onion sauce. That's, that's my name for it. That is what it is. Um, and I had a bunch left over. So all it is is cashews, unsweetened soy milk and onion flakes, but the chopped onion flakes were apparently really, really strong, and it's very, very, very oniony. So I have a bowl of this left over, and I had had the vegetables from the kale and the peas and um, the mix of, of the vegetables that I made for the last time, I had had that with some spaghetti sauce on it and a plop of the onion cream sauce on top of that, and it was really, really good. So what I wanted to do was to make a lasagna because the spaghetti sauce is really good and the onion cream is really good, and I'll use that as like my fake faux ricotta type layer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, so I bought, well you can't really see them now because I've already cut them. I bought two very long purple um, eggplant, not, these aren't the Thai eggplant, those are little, little green ones. And these aren't the big purple ones that you buy at the normal grocery store. These are an Asian one that you get at the Asian grocery store. They're, they're long and, and thin. Anyway, so I bought two of those. I chopped those into slices, and I have four zucchini over here that I've chopped into little rounds. And then I have a few mushrooms on my cutting board as well. So I'm going to make layers, and one thing that I wanted to tell you guys is because the zucchini, I'm not cooking it first. So zucchini is super, super, super watery, and I don't want my lasagna to be like super, super, super watery. So I'm actually going to use some soy curl crumbs. So when you buy a big, huge bag of soy curls in the bottom, Part of it so you take all the big chunks out and put them in the freezer or wherever you're going to store them um, and you're left with all these crumbs at the bottom well they absorb liquid just as well as the big huge pieces do um, and I'm going to put those in a layer with the zucchini so that when the zucchini starts to cook and releases liquid that the, the soy curls will be there to absorb it so the only other thing obviously I've got a spaghetti sauce that I'm going to use I'm going to put some garlic in there and I'm going to put some oregano in there and that's the only other thing that I'm going to use with the exception of um, I've got some mozzarella daya cheese in the refrigerator. I am going to sprinkle some of that on top of it because my kids will be eating this as well. So I'm going to make it kid friendly as well as, I mean it's vegan. And I told you guys I would eat vegan food, so that's vegan. It's not exactly a health food, but it's vegan. So anyways, I'm gonna go put this together. Um, and I'm gonna just tilt the camera down so you guys can see me put it together, put it in fast forward so you don't have to watch me do this for like 20 minutes or anything. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this put together and then get it in the oven and start baking. It's about 3.30 and I figure this will need to cook for maybe about 45 minutes. I'm not 100% certain. I know I said I was going to show you guys all my favorite recipes um, this month. However, I have the creamy onion sauce left in the refrigerator. I really, really do like it. And I really liked it when I put it with the spaghetti sauce. So this really and truly isn't like something I'm just coming up with new. It's just a different way to put the same ingredients together. Um, but. Let's go do it.
Alrighty guys, so there it is. That is the lasagna put together in fast forward. Um, as you can see, I was a little indecisive about what to put where. <laughs> Just kind of decided as I went. Anyway, it worked out fine. It looks beautiful. I'm going to put some aluminum foil over this. I'm gonna stick it in the oven for 45 minutes. I'm hoping that will be enough time. I'm tempted to put it in there for an hour. I don't actually know how long this is gonna take, but we're gonna start with 45 minutes and see where it goes from there. So wish me luck and I will see you guys in about 45 minutes. Alrighty guys, so the lasagna is done. It looks beautiful, it smells amazing. Um, I am very hesitant to cut into it yet though. I wanted it to sit for about 15 minutes before I cut into it, so that means I need to let it sit for like another 10 minutes. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So anyway, I'm excited. It looks really good. I am going to cut it and taste it for you guys, uh, just to let you know if it's um, edible or not. And I'm I'm sure it's edible. <laughs> I actually decided to check to cook it at 425 degrees rather than 350. I was a little concerned that the eggplant wouldn't get completely done and I don't really have the option of cooking it for another half an hour when I need to leave for work in 20 minutes. So I went ahead and cooked it at 450 for 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 35 minutes. And then I took the aluminum foil off the top and I cooked it for another 10 minutes. Um, without the aluminum foil on it to try and get the cheese on the top melty. So I'm going to plate up some in a little bit and um, hopefully get a thumbnail that's decent. Who knows? I'm not a photographer, for sure. But anyway, um, I'm going to also go and make sure that I'm ready to go, completely ready to go, ready to go, because I'm gonna have to run out the door the second that I get this in a container. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you guys to try in just a few minutes. Alrighty guys, it plated nicely. Looks pretty. It's a little bit um, soggier, gooier than I expected it to be. Like, it's got some liquid running off of it. I didn't actually expect that because I thought the soy curls would actually absorb all the liquid that would come off the zucchini. Apparently not. But, that's okay. Um, the uh, eggplant is still fairly firm. Not like you can't cut it firm. Just it's, it's firm to use a fork to get through it. But it's absolutely fine. Taste test. Ooh, oh, that's yummy. Oh my goodness, I don't have time to eat this before I go to work. I want to eat this, it is really good. Oh wow guys, I would highly recommend this. Really easy to throw together. Very simple ingredients. Just make that cream sauce up ahead of time, leave it in your refrigerator and you're good to go. Make it a day or two, three days. That's been in there for like almost a week now. Absolutely fine. That's good. Oh, yummy. Okay, cream sauce lasagna. Eggplant cream sauce lasagna. Delicious. Totally recommend that. You guys should have some. Alrighty guys, I gotta run, gotta get to work, and I gotta pack my lunch and get out of here. So, I'll see you all later. Hi guys. So I have left work and I'm on my way home. Um, I was thinking about tonight going to uh, the pool to do my exercise for the day but um, I don't think my husband's gonna be up for it. So he's had a long day um, running kids around and the boys have had um, orchestra camp all week long. And so he's been running them to and from um, the town that's got the college where they go to their UN, it's UNT, where they go and do their strings project. Anyway, he's been running them back and forth and today was their concert. And so he was there for several hours and walking around from the parking lot to the buildings and it was hot and blah, 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 blah. So, he may or may not be up for it. If he's not, then I'm going to probably just go and um, ride the exercise bike for 45 minutes or so. Um, update on food. So I ate my lasagna and it was fabulous. Oh my gosh, it was so tasty. And it was really simple to put together. I mean, it really was very easy. It was not difficult. Um, it was very good. I would totally, totally repeatable. Um, which is not a big surprise that onion cream sauce is really, really good. Like really good. Um, and then I also had some, um, the hummus that I had taken with me yesterday. I still didn't finish it, but I did have some of that with carrots and it was really good. So it's really funny. I find myself thinking, um, that I don't really like 
carrots with hummus, and I really prefer cucumbers. Okay, no problem. So I eat cucumbers. But then I don't have cucumbers and I eat carrots, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I should eat this more often. And then I look in the refrigerator and there's carrots. And I'm like, nah, I don't really want carrots with hummus. What's up with that? It's delicious. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So anyways, yeah, um, I am going to drive home. And when I get home, I'm actually going to make, I saw something. Where did I see that? I don't know where I saw it. I would imagine somewhere on YouTube. Um, I saw something called banana sushi, which you take a banana and you put some, now I'm sure that they use peanut butter, and uh, what else did they use? Maybe like chia seeds or something? Like one of them was a peanut butter and jelly, one of them was peanut butter and chocolate chip, and one of them was, I'm not really sure, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on the last one. So anyways, you take a little bit and you put it on top of the banana, um, the topping stuff, and then you put it in the freezer for 10 minutes, and then when it comes out, you cut it into slices and you eat it with um, like sushi, um, what do you call it, chopsticks. So I thought my kids might think that was really, really fantastic. So I'm going to do that tonight for dessert when I get home. I don't think, it's 5.20 right now. My husband said he was, they usually eat at like five. We eat pretty early. Um, but he was just getting a lasagna in the oven for the boys like 10 minutes ago. So he was gonna let that cook for like half an hour. So they will probably, I mean, they'll be done with supper by the time I get home, but it won't be like they've been done with supper for two hours by the time I get home. So it'll be okay. So I'll make them some banana sushi when I get home. That should be fun. I'm looking forward to that. I think that they will think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to get my exercise in for the day and I do have to work the next two days at my full-time job, but this should be the last weekend that I have to work there. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's about it for me. Um, maybe I'll hop on quick later and show you my banana sushi if I remember. Probably not. I'm not very good at that. When I get home, I just get busy with my kids and I tend to forget what I'm doing. So anywho, so today is a good day. I'm I'm not super sore like I was this morning. I was kind of sore this morning. Um, I made sure that I got up and moved around a lot at work today. So that was good. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't hurt or anything at the moment, but I think that I would do something easy like biking and when I'm sitting on the bicycle, I can also use the weights that we have upstairs and just do a little bit of upper, upper body while I'm working on that. So that's what I'm going to do. So I hope you guys had a fabulous day and I will talk to you again soon. All right guys, so this is the end of the video. I actually did remember. So I made my boys banana sushi. Isn't it cute? Isn't that funny? Here, come down here. You can see it better. Isn't it neat? So basically just a banana with a topping, freeze it for 10 minutes and then cut it into little circles. And I'm going to go feed them their food before they have like a rebellion here because I'm sure they want it. One more brief update. So then I am gonna call it a night for real. I just did 12 miles on my bike upstairs and the back of my legs hurt like crazy and I really should have changed out of my work clothes first oh my gosh I'm so sweaty it's gross but anyways so yes I am officially 12 miles into it today and that darn bike says that I burned 29 calories <laughs> I don't think that could possibly be quite correct based on how uh, quickly I was going but whatever doesn't matter it's all about the movement so 12 miles is very good and I watched uh some YouTube America's Got Talent um, videos while I was doing that. It was quite amusing, quite entertaining. But anyways, I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.